My name is Olaf Johnson. Uh, I'm at Painesville, Minnesota. Uh, we're on my farm. I am an organic farmer and we're also doing composting and working with biology bugs. I was a chemical farmer for 27 years. I saw a lot of things where we missed with chemicals. Crops were better. We had some weed issues. Uh, I also farmed another guy's land. Uh, that was an organic farmer and saw what he could do with least amount of inputs uh, and what I was suspending. Uh, he was way more money ahead of me. And so I knew I had to look down that road. And, and then he had weed issues. Uh, I knew I was gonna have weed issues. And I thought I could control it with uh, mechanical, uh, with steel or whatever, and, but that wasn't doing the answer for us. Uh, uh, we were searching for something else. And then when I uh, heard Elaine speak, then I knew that there was another, another way we could go. And we had to research it more. And with the microscope, we saw where wireland wasn't producing the way it was because uh, it was all bacterial, there wasn't the, the good guys in there. So. so we knew we had to make a change and that's what we really uh, worked on the hardest is make, make a change to try to introduce these bugs back into our soils. And the thing is, is that I, I wanted to work the farm uh, for me. I didn't want to work the land, you know, basically for Monsanto or DuPont or, or Bayer. It's my farm. The Johnson Sioux reactor is a fixed container that holds byproducts that is being composted. Ours is six foot in diameter, uh, five feet high. Uh, we have air tubes in it that uh, there's seven of them. You pull them out the next day after you have filled it and them air holes stay there because you want a foot space between all your product that you have in there so it all stays aerobic. This is so far is our best for making the biological bugs the fastest for us. Fungi, uh, nematodes, it's something that we do not have in our soils that we need. It has the highest numbers that we've seen and that's one thing that's we're lacking in our soils is that we're all bacterial. We need to have introduce these back into our soils so things will get corrected. Compost tea is a bag in a tank and you aerate it. That you have to aerate it for either 12 or 24 hours. Basically the microbes will multiply every 20 minutes. An extract is, is that you have really high quality product that you can just run water through it for uh, 10 or 20 minutes and then you can put it directly in the field that you don't have to agitate it or for 24 or you know, 12 hours. Our weed pressures are going down. Uh, we do know that our yields are starting to increase. We know that we gotta keep going this way. I mean, getting the bug numbers up because we have seen where we can eliminate the weed pressures and uh, that is, that's, that would get even our neighbors excited. Then I think they would ask us more questions. What are you guys doing? 